Hi guys, just watched the episode and I'm back full force uh, post-survivor. Um, this was the family's episode. I thought it was really moving this time, actually. I mean, maybe it was the edit particularly heavy on Brenda as well, you know, showing Jeff Probst breaking and crying for the first time. And the edit was kind of heavy, actually, throughout the whole episode, even with Eric at the beginning, you know, just running after those coconuts and, and being, you know, like, so at the end of his rope, as he was saying, and then all of a sudden it's families. And, you know, it was basically to show how uh, reinvigorating the family's episode so it is. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm not diminishing how hungry and weak they must be, but um, it's, yeah, the edit was quite interesting here. Um, for the challenge in general, I was so happy to see Brenda win. I mean, her dad, like, just, like, whipped that at the very end and got it. It was, it was pretty cool. I loved how Cochran um, and his mom were just, like, hanging out. Like, I guess he didn't, he knew he wasn't going to win. I mean, she's an older woman, you know? And then even Ed's dad is just, like, an overweight man, so they weren't going to win. And, um, and so it, it just seemed like he was just taking advantage of the time, which is kind of cool um, and smart in a way. Uh, but yeah, this is like the episode where when you win, it's amazing and it's so sweet, but it's also like a poison. Like you want to be the best friend of the person who wins in the family's episode, although not in this case, obviously. Um, so yeah, I thought those options were actually horrible. Like why? I mean, there's no... I. I don't understand why Brenda did what she did. I don't even understand, like, the twist of bringing the second person in and, and, like, basically giving something to the person you've, like, just said you would take with you and then giving them that hope and taking it away so brutally. Like, it's one thing if you're taking something away from yourself or, you know, in the case of, like, giving away food but giving, like, beans to everyone at the auction or, like, love letters to everyone. Like, I get that. But in this situation, it was like she could have still got gotten herself, which she earned, her ally Dawn, whose, like, wedding anniversary it was or something, and a third person. Like, that's still three people seeing their families. You know what I mean? Like... I, I just don't get that twist, and I understand why, like, strategically you might want to, you know, get in the majority of people's good favor and give that away, but I thought, I thought it was wrong, and, but also she didn't really have a lot of time to think about it, so, um, and clearly it bit her in the butt, so that sucks, but yeah. Um, and then, oh, and then the worst thing was, like, seeing them at large, like, on the beach, you know, and seeing them wave at them. Like, that was so cruel. Like, at least take them to a different location. It was just too much. Um, so, yeah, now we're, we're back at immunity. Um, I thought it was interesting to see the difference. Like, in the last episode, I said, why are Brenda and Andrea hashing it out and, and weakening themselves when they could just, you know, strike a deal? And yet, like, we're too eliminations later, just one episode later, two uh, eliminations later, and it's com a completely different story. Like, you don't want to be striking a deal when you're that close to the end. And maybe I was saying this because Cochran had just said that he wanted to blindside Brenda. Uh, but yeah, that, that, it's like a different situation. And uh, speaking of voting out Brenda, I mean, it's so cruel. It's like, when I heard him say that, I was like, oh my god, that's like, that's brilliant in a way. Like, that's definitely the right move and she didn't, wouldn't expect like everything he said and everything that really played out but it's it's just the worst like especially given that he was one benefiting from her kindness or I, maybe it was strategy I, I don't even know I think it was just feeling forced to do it really um and then we're at tribal again Eddie is just not clued into anything and votes for Eric um, and I guess, they, I mean, they could have looped him in and just in case Dawn didn't, f you know, flip on Brenda, then they, at least they would have had a tie. But then, uh, I don't know, like that would have been almost worse, perhaps. Or, you know, maybe they thought Eddie would talk to Brenda and that's why they didn't talk to him. But it's just kind of weird. Like, I feel like Eddie really does not deserve to win. Like, he just goes to every tribal, A, thinking he's going to leave, and B, like, just having no clue about what's going down. Like, Eddie and Reynolds both just were voting randomly. It's, it's crazy. Um, I thought Sherry was, like, pretty heavy on the bluff at tribal. Um, just saying, oh, we can't touch Brenda, we can't touch Brenda, and then voting Brenda, <laughs> voting her out. Um, and it wasn't unnecessary because Brenda didn't have an idol. You know, why, why like, dig that in, like, make it even more painful uh, when Brenda was voted out? 
I think right now it's Cochrane's game to lose for sure. I mean, no matter what combination you have, as long as Cochrane can make it to the end, I think he wins. Um, and it was a good move for him because Brenda did say that she wanted to get Cochrane out after Eddie. So I guess, you know, I guess he, he made the right move, you know, I mean, I guess I'm sure. Um, then I think about, well, what if Don hadn't gone with Cochrane? Don's in actually a pretty good position because if Don had voted Eddie, then Cochrane and Sherry would have been at the at the bottom. They would have been exposed as having tried to blindside uh, Brenda. And then Dawn would have gone to the end probably with Brenda and Eric. And then I think Brenda would have probably won. Uh, but I still think Dawn would have a better chance of beating Brenda than she does at beating Cochrane, which is now probably the most likely outcome with Sherry, um, Dawn, and Cochrane. Um, unless Eric and Eddie somehow win it to the end. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Brenda, it's just so bad. Like, I feel so bad for her. But on the other hand, like, she can't just come in and say, um, I'm gonna be genuine, I'm gonna play nice, and then, like, not, not play, because then you don't win. But, and then she was also, like, still playing really hard physically and not wanting to give up. Like, she was still playing on one hand, but she didn't want to lie to anybody, and, like, that does make you, uh, dangerous at the end. Um... Even though, like, we, even earlier in the season, I was saying, oh, like, Brenda, she'll never be able to win. Like, she's not playing strategically at all. It was very frustrating. But somehow, at the end, like, there's a switch that happens, um, and she pulls it off. Like, she does make close alliances, and we saw her closest with, with Dawn and even, you know, and making just a move like what she did by letting everyone in the families. Like, if she were playing with more sentimental players, that could have really helped her uh, in the end. Anyway, what's next? Um, I think, like I said, that it's going to be Don, Sherry, and Cochran at the end, with Cochran for the win, unless somehow Eric and Eddie make it by winning immunities. Um, I think that if Eddie, uh, Eddie and Eric have a chance of winning, they need to align somehow, uh, and then not get Cochran at the end. Uh, that's the only way they would stand a chance, and even in that case, I guess Don or Eric would win um, if it's an Eric and Eddie and Don scenario. If it's Eric, Eddie, and Sherry, then I think Eric has it. I don't think Eddie and Sherry stand a chance, pretty much. And if you don't count Cochran in the end, then Don and Eric stand a much higher chance. But anyway, so no clear prediction. I think my clearest prediction is if Cochran's in the end, Cochran's going to win it. Um, pretty hard episode to watch to see Brenda go, but it, exciting to see something exciting happen when I thought that after Malcolm leaving, there would be no more, uh, no more exciting. So let me know your thoughts. Looking forward to your comments and can't wait for the finale.